when we talk about the community, we think of scholars of the humanities and social sciences potentially working with what an infrastructure such as Text Plus or, or even Clarin has to offer. Often we notice that when we talk, we are talking about the relation of infrastructures and the commu community, it is an us versus them. There's the community and there's the infrastructures. Sometimes there's even a cloudy entity called an advisory board, which consists of established researchers providing advice. Um, established researchers is sometimes a misnomer for researcher close to retirement who uses to be part of the community. But what if there is such a, there's no such distinction between us and them, because the infrastructures are embedded in the community. Text Plus on a national scale and the European Research Infrastructure Consortia, such as Clarin, are good examples of that. The infrastructure is not created by some abstract entity, but by researchers who provide their data, tools, and services in order for other researchers to reuse these. Here, infrastructure providers and the community cannot be distinguished. Maybe you could differentiate researchers who contribute and use infrastructures and those who don't. Another what if is um, if the advisory board is not selected but elected from the community, anybody could run, anybody could participate, but only of course, if they are elected by the community. What if this advisory board really can make a difference, not only by means of a good argument and providing advice, but by having a say in the spending of money or the ongoing development of an infrastructure? And what if you can hardly talk about different infrastructures, but various infrastructures providers actually work together? Of course, so the earlier picture that was would just be gone. There would be no more clear separation between community infrastructure and advisory board. It is one community with individuals contributing in various roles. The collaboration of research infrastructures in Germany is an, the essential idea of the national research data infrastructure in Germany and text plus is part of that. At the core of the text plus governance is the integration of the infrastructure and community. The infra infrastructure is part of the community and the infrastructure is open to new partners. The researchers that are initially part of the infrastructure are easily defined as they are the ones who will receive funding for the infrastructure from the beginning. It is hence essential to have an organizational structure allowing for partners to be added on the way um, to be added and um, well, to have a strong representation of the community. Um, so the community has a way uh, to, to state what they need and what they can provide and a way to make sure that the community has a say on their needs, including a way of channeling res the resources that these needs have that these needs have a chance of being met. Of course, as the individual have different roles, there remains the question on who is representing the community. In Germany, we have a great landscape of organizations for researchers. Of course, there are the home institutions, but the researchers themselves are often organized in disciplinary associations, learned societies, or academic societies, depending on which variety of English you speak. In Text Plus, we draw on all of these. If they support the ideas of Text Plus and see themselves as part of the same community, they can nominate representatives to be elected into the Text Plus governance. Within the application phase of Text Plus, um, Text Plus was already supported by 20 uh, academic societies and nine specialized information services from academic libraries. 
This is a list of them. They are from various disciplines in the humanities and social sciences and include many, if not all, of the major academic associations in the field. All of the community is represented by the text plus plenary that you can see here to the left that elects one scientific coordination committee for each data domain of text plus. For the text task area of operations and infrastructure, they elect the operations coordination committee. The chair chairperson of each committee is part of the scientific board, which is the scientific steering committee of text plus. The members of the coordination committees have been nominated by the academic associations and the associations were also asked to name additional researchers in an early state of their academic career. So that for example, some PhD students will also be part of these committees. In the original application of text plus, the function of the SCCs, or the scientific coordination committees and the OCC, the operations co uh, coordination committee is described as follows. The SECs and the OCC will continuously evaluate the text plus portfolio of data tools and services and will be instrumental in extending the text plus portfolio in line with priorities set by the communities of interest. What does this mean specifically? In the text plus application, a significant amount of money was not allocated to specific tasks. These are often referred to as flex funds, as these funds can be used flexibly during the project runtime to adjust the developments and provide for additional needs of the community. The coordination committees consist of researchers who do not already receive funding from within Text Plus, but who want to contribute to the infrastructure and work together with the infrastructure providers in establishing and developing Text Plus. Every year, the flexible funds are provided to work on extending the services, data, and tools provided and, uh, and developed by Text Plus. Extending means that nothing already part of Text Plus can receive extra funding. It means that new partners may join and contribute their data and services. To distribute the funds, a yearly call is being issued. The coordination committee members are part of the review process, taking part in the preparation of the call, reviewing and prioritizing the applications. Of course, the coordination committees also monitor the progress of Text Plus regularly, taking part in Text Plus events and receiving reports. As with regards to the projects funded by Text Plus, and selected by the coordination committees, the committees use specific evaluation criteria such as the relevance, diversity, fair and care principles, quality and innovation, effort, etc. We could talk a bit on each of them, but you, pro you are probably familiar with most of them and they are not really surprising for you. And um, so, let me just come to uh, an end of this presentation by saying, of course, we do have this, uh, this flexible funds. We have the scientific coordination committees and the operations uh, coordination committee. But uh, we, uh, we have many more um, um, projects. We have many more ideas on how to collaborate with the uh, communities. Uh, the call for data, um, call for user stories has already been mentioned, the technology watch, training and education. We, uh, as Text Plus, plan to contribute to the training and education actions that are also part of um, major uh, international uh, actors such as uh, Clarin, Clarin Eric. So we have a close uh, collaboration there and plan to, to contribute. Clarin in Europe and Text Plus in Germany, we are part of the community and work together in contributing data, tools, 
and services for research.